Yeah, what's happening? It's your boy Big Scrap, not the loon. You are not come out. And y'all checking in with real life street stars, man. Tap in right now, Jack. You feel me with your face ass? Real life. Real life. If that shit ain't real life, it ain't real life. Definitely. Now, the Shade Room recently posted like all your hits. Yeah, yeah. And you reshared that. Yeah. How does that feel as far as, you know, time tells everything. It's like to be able to say, man, like for them to post hit after hit after hit and just be I able to see. Lie, bro. I've been around people like for a long time now, for a little minute, for like 10, like a long, a lot of years, bro, that, years. that devalued me. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't even look at that, that I did all that. Wow. I ain't even noticed that I did all that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That didn't that didn't value me as that. You know what I'm saying? Like even your family sometimes can kind of your friends. Not make you feel you. like nigga, you a legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they around you, they they feel like shit. I'm so I, yeah. You, you scrap, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But when you see other people do it, and they be like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I applaud Shay Room because they also they be on some bullshit. Yeah, right, right. right. Like, they take a moment out of time to say, yeah. let's just applaud no, the situation like, right like, now. I, I really, I really fuck with that. I yeah. really fuck with <laughs> yeah. that because we can always go down the list of what motherfuckers do wrong, but we need to go around the list because they do a lot of that too. They, yeah. do, a lot of, yeah. they do a lot of positive shit too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But we don't see that because we so hooked on. The negativity, but I appreciate that shit, man. Like I, I looked at that and I was like, damn, I have done a lot of shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, even when I, when me and my my Brody, true, we looked at the the verses shit, like it, like you know, songs I done did with people and songs I did by myself, like it's like 22, 25. Hey. Like we, we can go, you know hey, what I'm saying? Man. We can go like a boxing match, nigga. Like nah, for real, real. Yeah. For real. Now, one thing you did in our last interview, um, you know, we've had some characters uh, such as Charleston White, Jaguar Wright. Uh, oh, Y'all did get Charleston White. We did get Charleston yeah, White. Yeah, and you yeah. actually, you had a profound thing to where, you know, we was asking you about him and T.I. And then you said something in that to where a lot of people gravitated towards to where all he's doing is holding up a mirror. Yeah, it's all. And turning him back that's on ourselves. All. That's all. And that came from a real place to where people yeah. felt that like, damn. Yeah. You right. I, I, feel, should, I feel like he do too much now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm about to say, should we do more of that? Charles and White do too much now, but we. I feel like him and Kanye, they they held up a mirror of us. You know what I'm right. saying? And I, and I feel like we should do more than everybody. We should. We should. I mean, it ain't nothing but accountability. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but like when when Farrakhan say, "Hey, we don't want y'all to dictate how we punish our people. Let us do it." You know what I'm saying? And we always do it. We always do it. R. Kelly is only in jail because black people put him in jail. Nah, for there real. was no white people involved. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There was no white people there. I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? It was black people. Y'all, we put him in jail because we didn't like what he did and we didn't like how much money he made doing it. You know what I'm saying? You did, you was on some shitty shit, some bullshit, and you was making money off this shit and we gave it to you. We want our money back. We can't get it. We can't get our time back. But guess what we're going to do? We done with you. You gotta go. Yeah. And we always do that to our people. We don't, we don't, hey, there's not, hey bro, there's not one person, bro, that done been gone. And we ain't talking about the old, old days. We talking about when they gave us rights. When they gave us rights, <laughs> black people start putting their own people away. You feel what I'm saying? And they ain't give, and you would look at the white people, the motherfucker, they be like, shit, if I, we can save a motherfucker, we'll save them. You feel what I'm saying? If we can save a motherfucker, we'll save them. We right. got enough of us. You know what I'm saying? But us, we like, if you make more money than us, you should be in jail. You're gay. You're in the Illuminati. Yeah, it's something wrong there. You be like, cuz, like, I just can't, I can't work for my shit and, and be good. Like, <laughs> right. Cause I see a lot of other motherfuckers work that is not famous that have worked for their shit and y'all don't say that about them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't say that about them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all say that about famous motherfuckers. Right. I'm so tired of hearing the shit about Will Smith, my nigga. Like, I'm like, hey, bro, and Jay Z and all that shit, Diddy and all. I'm like, cuz, listen, bro, I done been around all these niggas and I ain't never seen none of that shit, bro. None of it. It's just because it's a lot of uh, motherfuckers that hate in the world and don't understand the other side of it. Why do you think so many black people actually believe in those conspiracy theories? 
They believe because they never been there. It's cool. It's easy to believe some dumb ass shit if you never been there. If you never been rich, you never been famous. It's easy for you. And and even though because of Instagram and social media, there's not a person on the earth that's not famous right now. Nah, for real. There's not a one person that's not famous. If you got ten people that know you, you're a famous motherfucker. Nah, to me, for real. To me, I mean that's how I mean because. When I was growing up, I ain't no more than five motherfuckers. Nah, for real. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't no number five motherfuckers. You feel me? Right. And just them five knew me. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, like, for real. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? But now there's not one person on this earth. You're famous. You're famous. You're, she's famous. She's famous. Everybody's famous. Because right. everybody got their group of people that like them and know them. Nah, for real. Now, I got I to gotta ask, man, it's a lot going on in Atlanta right now, man. Yeah. Um, man, 21 Savage, right? Mm -hmm. I always look at him as somebody who, when he speaks, he's, he says, you know, you just see him way. act. The whole way. He, yeah, but he always, you never see him get out of character. Yeah. So when you see him get out of character on a clubhouse yeah. and then speak, you know, as he spoke, where he's kind of basically saying, you know, don't play with us, you know, yeah. something going to happen. We, yeah. You know, I mean, but like, how do, what do you think that is? Because it's like, we've never seen him get him, to that point. Yeah, him, man. Yeah. He a whole human. Everybody like, you know what I'm saying, dodge the bullet until you get hit. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like when you get hit with that one that just move you the wrong way, you gon' you gon' I mean, if you somebody that stand on your shit, you're gonna stand on it. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I I feel like I was that what I'm saying, I was one of them type niggas when I was that that age. You know, I was like, nigga, hey look, bro, hey, hey man, look, hey bro, look. Let's not even do that. Let's just meet up somewhere, bro. Let, let, you know, let's get it done. You know what I'm saying? Let's not even, yeah. we ain't got to do all that. Let's get it done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, real quick, like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes you got to remind people of what's going on. Like, you, do you know where you know me from? Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you know how you know me? Do right. You, do you remember the stuff you heard about me? Like, quit playing, bro. Like, quit playing. Like, like some of that shit real, nigga. Like, quit playing. What is it in us that where it's like, you know, we, we all know allegedly what his password, but like, when nigga, when a nigga talk about how he stepped on some shit, they say that shit with so much pride. You know what I'm saying? What is it about us, bro, to where we just say shit like that with so much pride, bro? I mean, it just come back from when we were created. Black man. You know what I'm saying? The black, when the black man was created, we always had pride. That's why they broke it. You know what I'm saying? They broke. They had to break that first. Wow. Let's break that pride. Let's break all this stand up shit. All this he want to stand up on us and look down on us like he. Nah, bro. Like we we've been that. You know what I'm saying? We've been like that. It's just we don't know when and how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. it's just going off feeling. Pride is not a feeling. Pride is like some like you be like I've done all this in my life and I. I, 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 I'm proud of, I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. proud of what I've done in my life. I'm proud of what I, what the, the accomplishments, even the, 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 the bad shit. I'm proud of it. Like I'm just proud of who I am. That's pride. Yeah. The other shit is ego. The other shit is like, man, I don't been here long as fuck, but I've been doing this shit, but I don't mm. got down, but I look, but I got down. Ain't said nothing about, what you have done to get to where you at, but I've been here for a long time. Ain't nobody coming in here to that. Hey man, listen, life goes on, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers come, motherfuckers are born every day, nigga. And guess what? Then the motherfucker that was born in 10 years, nigga, might be that motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? It don't even matter. That's real. Now I got you speaking of pride and you know, just being proud. Of you said something in our last interview, which I didn't think was a big thing when you said it, mm -hmm. but the way the world takes it, the way the fans take it, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. But we talked about Gucci Man, yeah. and you had mentioned that, hey, he's not from Atlanta, which of course he had moved to Atlanta and you know things of that yeah. nature. But everyone like hone in on that. Like, do you have to be born in a spot to say you from a spot? And how much not pride do ATL or Atlanteans yeah. have being born in Atlanta versus those who might have come from Elsewhere, I'm gonna put it like this. You didn't even say it on no hating shit either. Yeah, like, yeah, no, no, no. I never, I never hate on Gucci. Yeah. Gucci, me and me and Gucci, we don't had our little time, but me and Gucci all, always been cool though, for real. Like, I, 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 I even think that his whole journey was inspirational and motivational to all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole body uh, transformation, the whole mind process, mindset that he's on, and all that, like that. <laughs> Man, that, that, that took me so it inspired me. You know what I'm saying? I looked at that nigga, I was like, nigga, listen. And I ain't talking about N-I-G-G-E-R, I'm talking about N-I-G-G-A. 
hey, nigga, like you, hey, bro, I fuck with you for that. You know what I'm saying? But in Atlanta, and and anybody can, you know, if anybody, y'all just do the history and just look. You've never seen an Atlanta person leave there and move somewhere else. Like how New Orleans people, they you Lil Wayne, everybody moved to Miami. I don't know what it was for, or if it was Katrina or whatever that, but I don't know if Master P, you know, he moved to LA and all that. But uh Outcast is still in Atlanta. Goody Mob is still in Atlanta. All the people that was for them, they still in Atlanta. T.I., Tiny, they still in Atlanta. Candy. I mean, we can keep going. I've never seen not one motherfucker that's a celebrity leave from Atlanta that was born and raised there. Never why, seen that. Why, why, why do you think that is? That that shit is something else. That the Atlanta, to, to me, that shit is like, oh man, it's unexplainable. Man, y'all Waffle House is so professional. It's just it, the Waffle House no, 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 work takes so much listen, pride listen. in this. That, 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 that for real. shit in the Waffle House been going on for years, nigga. Yeah. That shit is dumb. That shit is that yeah, we've been fighting in the Waffle House since I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that shit is normal to us. You know what I'm saying? So to Instagram, that shit new because right. everybody get to see shit now. But that shit been going on. Like no, shit. nah, but I, I was saying when I went to Atlanta, I went to the Waffle House and like there was not a. Uh, yeah, the flat screen on the wall. The it depends just... on what Waffle House you went to, what part of the state you went to. Oh, okay. We was downtown. Y'all was downtown? Yeah. What part of downtown y'all had flat screens in there? <laughs> <laughs> Please, Please tell me. Because you know niggas ready to take them bitches right now. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like I'm talking about these niggas, soon y'all put that shit out, niggas be like, they got flat screen downtown? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nigga, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, t- I'm saying, like, you know, like, the Waffle House is like a, a monument, but it's like, it's 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 a dangerous spot. Like, it, it, ain't, it ain't like, oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a place like we come here, and y'all, and we like, I'm finna go, you be like, uh. Man, yeah, it, I mean, be careful, man. It was, bro, <laughs> it was one comedian, I forget brother brother name, but he was so funny, he say, he say for the uh, the uh, the interview, he's like, you know how to slap box? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah for real. If you go out and slap box, we'll put you on the night shit. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, like, like in Atlanta, bro, like that how a nigga try you, though. That how a nigga try you in Atlanta, nigga get befriend you and then want to wrestle with you or slap box with you to see if you... And I yeah. just tell nigga, I be like, cuz, that is not how you... This <laughs> <That's, that's, that's, laughs> is not how we go. <laughs> cuz, like, I'm in a whole different way when I'm fighting for my, my dignity and my manhood. Nigga. I'm a whole man. other, right, right. I got a whole different strength about me. Nigga. <laughs> man. Like, man. Don't even react. I don't react the same way. Nigga. Like, man, fighting in a Waffle House, Waffle House just seems so dangerous, nigga, the grill. I mean, it just, it seems dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, the fuck is it's so close now, quarters. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, Vikings. You the, just think of it, bro. Like you in the country, nigga. Like we already, they already say we can carry guns that is concealed <laughs> and unconcealed. Yeah, you can carry a big gun, little gun. However you want to do it, you can just walk around Atlanta with that shit. However you want, we can't even touch you about it. Man. What the fuck you gonna think they gonna do in the Waffle House? Nigga? <laughs> For real. A, a fight happening, nigga. Nigga, you gonna get your head bashed? Nigga, <laughs> For real. With a to the omelet, death. Nigga, right, right, with an omelet. With a fucking pan, nigga. <laughs> with, the, with the skillet, nigga. Like sizzling. Nigga, like, nigga, nigga, it's, a whole, it's a whole routine now, nigga. Just, nigga, I know what's gonna happen. I know we're gonna fight tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, a whole routine. Yeah. So you go outside the city, like, see, I can't even stay, like, you feel me, in the city, like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I did that my whole life. I fought niggas and shot at niggas, shot, got shot at. Like, I'm, man, stabbed, all kind of, yeah, I'm man. cool, nigga. I be like this. Nigga be like, bro, come stay in the city, bro. Like, hey, man, come. I be like, hey, relax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I done people in the trip. Yeah. Relax. I'm not uh, doing none of that. <laughs> you know what uh, I mean? Not a, yeah. Nope. So- <laughs> Man, let's go and take it there, man. I got to ask, and uh, I want you to just get your thoughts on this. And I'm going to phrase it in a way, of course, you know, see what your thoughts are. When you see a situation like Gunna, and uh, Takashi had bra- raised up the fact that, uh, man, y'all gave me so much hell. Mm-hmm. And then Gunna, of course, is out off of a plea deal. Right. And I see that a lot of rappers are more quiet than what they were with the Takashi situation while Gunna kind of, you know, Whatever again, that's it. That's what hasn't played out yet. I don't see that though. Okay, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are because that's real, what was the real motherfuckers that done took plea deals and shit. They know better, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
people that didn't took, because I've never seen a plea deal where we had to have this whole thing before I say, yeah. I do. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Know, like, like all that yes ma'am yes. shit and all that. I've never seen that before in my life. You know Man. what I'm saying? But that it has happened because it's there. It's real. It's a real thing. It's a thing. We don't know it, but it's a thing. And um, I don't, maybe he wasn't, um, maybe he wasn't educated on it enough to know what he was doing or the other people were educated enough. But to me, the way I grew up, just the way I grew up, I don't know really what it is. I don't know if he really, like, I don't know if he. Yeah, the intricate details of what's going on. All right, look. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, so look. He about to jack it up. <laughs> so, look, so, like, the way that the prosecutor worded it threw me off. Oh. That's the only thing that threw me off. And when he said, yes, ma'am, it threw me off. Because she say, is this your statement and your acknowledgement that YSL is a gang and that you know that they have done criminal activities to further, you know, help the gang? And when he said, yes, ma'am, that was just it for me. <laughs> that was just it. I mean, I mean, that's just me coming from where I'm from, the, eight, the era I come from. I don't know. If they change the dictionary or if they change the meaning of snitching, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe they have. I don't know. Maybe, I, you know, maybe him and Thug got some shit going on where well. Thug was like, hey, bro, do this so you can help me get out. I don't think Wait, hold on, listen, which I don't think that can help him get out saying, like, everything that you're fighting against is what I'm saying it is. You know what I'm saying? I, you're saying it's not a gang. I'm saying it's a gang. I don't know how you're going to get off like that. I don't know. Like, it. The only, the only reason that everybody's quiet right now because they want to wait until they see what Thug talking about. Because a man is, a man, Thug is a, a gangster, gangster, man, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my little homie. I, I, I fuck with bro. Like he, I, me and him from the same hood. We from Cleveland Avenue. I call it Cleveland because where I come from, but his area is bleeding. But that's that's the little homie. I guess what uh, kind of started me off right is there are other members of YSL that are coming out that saying that are speaking against gun and out and I was under the assumption that all the members of YSL went to jail but we have n other members that are coming out said so who who is really in YSL cuz I thought everybody in YSL went to jail but you got to think like YSL is whatever they say it is you know what I'm right. saying? you know whoever's in YSL is in YSL <laughs> Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Gang, gang. Listen, I, don't, I don't really know who's in YSL, but all I know is it's a lot of people, uh, like what we used to say, turn state. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, when I, my era is turn state. Turn yeah. state means you say yes, ma'am, to everything they say. Right. Which I've never seen that happen. I've never seen them record somebody you know that's that's the da yeah this, this is not some like I, i'm telling you i i man look i figured it out i watched the shit i'm like hold on ain't man this is a a big case right here ain't nobody right. ain't no da letting nobody come in with no phone no camera none of that they already said they ain't want no cam screw me they ain't want no cameras involved so when you got somebody sitting right like this she <laughs> just like just getting what they want, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, the DA was involved, you feel me? Like they wanted that to be seen. Because guess what? All of them were seen like that. It was not one person that didn't, I don't know how to say this. I don't know if it's dry snitching or telling they truth for, when I was in my era, <laughs> well, I came from. It was called snitching. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I, it's just like if you open your mouth, you snitching. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you say anything, you're snitching. Why is it? Why, oh, yeah, the, oh, yeah. Why is it that whenever a black man cooperates with the police in any shape, form, or fashion, you're snitching? Only and, if he's only only if he portrays himself to be gangster, though. Okay. Only only person that that is called a snitch. 
is a person that betray himself to be a part of that life, gangster, you, you, you out here, you, you, like when you see somebody else, you telling people like, yeah, this is me. I'm, you, you know, you flip, you doing everything a part of that life, but then when it come down to the end part of the life, you wanna, you wanna back up. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Come on, come back to the middle of the floor. You feel mm. me? I the guess middle the middle of the floor. I guess it's like uh, when we going back to even the jury situation. It's like you gotta inform the police to even get the claim to get your insurance money. Like the police has to have to be notified. You have to cooperate on some level. To get your money for your purchase, like where do when, when do the law when does law enforcement get to work for us? Who is us? Yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Who is the gangsters? Who is not the gangsters? If you're a regular dude, you have a regular job every day, and you're not claiming to be a gangster or a drug dealer or a street guy. Anybody that's in the street, you know what I'm saying. We're not talking about the the barbers, the we're not talking about people with legitimate jobs here. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about people that don't have legitimate jobs. We're talking about people that rob people, kill people, uh, fight all the time. We're talking about people that's deeply in the street. And it's more shit than that that I could tell you. But it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're one of them type people, like you don't get to, you don't get to run to the police because that's your life. Right. That's your life, my nigga. That's your fucking life. I ain't gonna even lie to you. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I got robbed like three weeks ago. Nobody's ever heard about it. Wow, man. Nobody's ever heard about it. Remember the other rings I had and all that mm -hmm. shit? That shit is gone. You know what I'm saying? I got robbed with a gun. You know what I'm saying? Nigga bust at me and everything. Cause I, I was kind of tipsy and I, I was, when a nigga got down and snapped me, I was, I was trying to fight the nigga. <laughs> it was on some right. other shit. <laughs> Listen. Listen, he, he said no one ain't even heard about it. We, we, Damn. We, 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 <laughs> Listen, he, 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 he didn't even want to talk about it now. Listen, 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 but guess what? There was no police call. Yeah. There was none. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to fix my own shit, my own windows and all that shit, everything that happened. I got to get my own jewelry back. Even if something ever happened to them. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the police. <laughs> I didn't call the police. I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not what you do when you, you know what I'm saying? When you claim certain things and you in that, 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 you know, that dysfunction of the world, that's a dysfunction. Now, if you in that dysfunction, then you don't even know that you're in a dysfunction, so you don't call the police. You don't even know to call the police. You don't even want to be a part of that, that part. Because guess what? When the police come for you, they come looking at you, they gonna come, they looking at your shit, they like. Who is you, nigga? Hold on. Right. Like, let's talk to this nigga. Like, I ain't, man, we've been looking for you, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't I ain't on none of that shit, bro. Like, I'm I'm really like, when when you when you know, like, when you from the street, bro, like you will always go by that code, bro, until you like all the way up out of that bitch. Now, one of the um members of YSL, he uh took a plea deal. For thirty years, probation. Thirty-one years yeah. probation. Yeah. At forty years old. Mm -hmm. What makes a man take thirty years probation at forty? Because he know he wasn't supposed to be a part of that shit. He know he old as fuck. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That nigga doing like, life now. Where he you got going life with these kids. Nigga, like, nigga got life. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck is going on? Nah, right for now? real. You know like, nah, for you real. Know, but 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 on another note, on another note though, on on the real note, you know what I'm saying? You know, once you get a certain age and you ain't did, you ain't met certain accomplishments that you wanted to have. Like you start surrounding yourself with with people that you ain't trying to surround, but you you just trying to get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, I mean. You really gotta look in the mirror, cause we all we all us, right? You know what I'm saying? We all gotta look in the mirror and be like, we all was dealt that same card, right? This shit's crazy. Like we all was dealt that that same fuck you black motherfucker card, that same fuck you colored motherfucker part. Like even if you're not black, you're just Mexican, or you 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 not that no Italian is white. Um, anything other than white they have, you know, kind of put their claws in, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you that, man, you got to just kind of figure it out, man. Be like, man, look, I know they at me. They at us. So what I'm going to do to not be in that boat, because it's a boat. 
because you got other motherfuckers that's we all sent here. We out. We free. We cool. We ain't, we ain't doing that shit. So it's a boat full of the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's different motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I look at motherfuckers. You gotta look at motherfuckers sometime when they get killed by the police. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like what they were doing. That's why motherfuckers be mad. Like as niggas, we be mad. We be like, nah, man, we ain't asking that shit. They shouldn't have did that shit. But you gotta ask yourself, cause we all done been in a situation where we wanted to use our rights. But it was the wrong time to use it. Cause you just got through smoking the whole thing. Yeah. Shout to smell that shit. Nah, for real. Let Cud have his shit. He caught you. Let Cud have his shit. You know, we don't want to go. But when you look at real thera motherfuckers, like the mafia and shit like that, you know what them folk told them? The real thera, not the motherfucker that snitched, but the real motherfucker, they like, hey, you do your job, I do my job. You do your job, if you catch me, I'm going, hey, I'm whatever you want to do. I'm going like this. Hey, you can take me. You did your job. But all they got down, bro, like, what are you doing? Yeah. We, you at a traffic stop. Nigga, you can probably beat that. You ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to do all that. But niggas know they at the end of their shit. Some niggas be at the end of their shit, bro. Like, and they, don't, they ain't trying to hear none of that shit. But we black and we ain't trying to hear it neither. You know what I'm saying? We It, it, it shit be, it be crazy, bro. Like, it, it, it crazy to, to, to try to help motherfuckers. And, and we go do marches and shit and we do all this shit when a motherfucker were wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's real. I, me honestly, I feel like I would still do it. I would still do it even if a motherfucker wrong, but at least let me know. Let me know the whole story before I get out there, bro. Even if you're wrong, I'm gonna fight for you. But let me know the whole thing, my nigga, for real, because the, them, them white folk, they know about they shit. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck if a motherfucker wrong or not. Nigga be like, hey, them, them white folk be like, hey, hey man, listen. <clears throat> How I gonna go down in the end? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we might need that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, fuck we talking about? Like, what, what, what are we saying right now? You know, we're gonna lock this motherfucker up. This motherfucker just knocked out about 10. Like, what are we doing? Are we gonna give him? No, we know we gotta give him insane. Cause we can have a, uh, we can get him out still. Like, we can get him out later. You know what I'm saying? His mental was off. You know what I'm saying? But with us, ain't no mental. They find all kind of way to say that we was okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we just gotta find out how we gonna do shit. You wanna knock some people off, bro? And I ain't telling nobody to knock nobody off. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, bro, y'all motherfuckers ain't thinking all this shit through. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like motherfuckers be robbing motherfuckers. Just rob them. Right. <laughs> right. That's it. You know what yeah. I mean? You just, niggas is holding up their arm. They like, they, ah, take it, take it. Just, you ain't, they put your gun up, you know? <laughs> And snatch that, snatch whatever you got, and get the fuck on. Come in there with the ski mask. Y'all niggas is y'all y'all lazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to come in there without the ski mask that make you want to kill a nigga. Nah. Be smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you way to stay out of jail and keep them killing the motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? For real. So you you ever do any jail time? Huh? You ever do any jail time? Have you been to jail? Not prison. Never been. Okay, to prison. but jail. Yeah, jail and boot camp. Yeah. I'm just curious your thoughts. When I see a uh, young thug, yeah. and I, you know, they just kind of jam them up for uh, Percocet or well, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't jam them up. They, 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 they still trying to figure. They still out. trying to figure out what that was. Yeah. Um, oh no, they trying to figure out was what did he a, did he knowledgeably know that he was finna accept that? Right. Yeah. Is there any reason do you feel that you know while you're standing trial that some type of transaction should and will go down? In that scenario, because I'm like, it doesn't to it me. It, it, do, it doesn't make sense. It shouldn't go down in the courtroom. Yeah, it, it does. should have went down. Way yeah, that's wild. Like, yeah, it's like we, 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 I'm sure they was attached to each other. Like, yeah, throw it, throw that bitch, throw it against the wall. Hey, nigga. Throw that shit on the ground right there, bro. I'm just gonna fall. Yeah, they got me. I was just on the ground. Oh, for real, for real, for real. <laughs> no, nah, but, but you gotta think though, I'm gonna be under with you, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't know. I mean, like I said, we don't know niggas. We don't know the way nigga think. We don't know if Cub was just, cause, I mean, if you look at the whole thing, Thug never looked back at him. Yes. Cub just came up on his own. It was like, hey, Cub, like, Cub was just like. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> shit, <yeah. laughs> shit, you know, I don't know nigga that gave it to me, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like, we all, I mean, when we look at shit like that, cause I looked at that shit, I was like, we gotta kinda, you know, we gotta Red wait. Red flag on the plane. We just got, yeah, that nigga out of line, dog. Plane, but we gotta wait. Yeah, we gotta wait. That nigga just gotta wait. He's out of line. He's not gonna say nothing until everything is over with, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no. that's all, bro. Like, you know, like, even with the snitching, people being like, you trying to put gay shit on people, you trying to put uh, disease on people, you trying to put anything on somebody, bro. Like, you gotta really, like, wait to see the outcome, bro, before you say anything, for real. Now, are we moving the goalposts for Gunner, man? Because when 6 9 got out, they was on his ass. But with Gunner, it's like nobody's saying shit, really. I put it like this. I, put, I, I, I feel as if... I feel as if... They didn't really do nothing to 6 9 No, that, that man is still alive. Because it's still alive. The real shit that happened to, to the people that do what he did, he didn't get none of that. So I feel like as a, as a black man, I don't want none of my little, little homies dead. I don't want none of the little guys dead. Yeah. But you can't talk that hard shit. You can't talk that loyal shit. Like it's, it's like we gotta, you just gotta be who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, you gotta be who you are. Like if that's who you are, you snitched on somebody, you snitched on the whole camp, be like, shit, bro, I ain't like, shit, I ain't finna go down for that. You know what I'm saying? Like in here, boy, but I ain't finna go down for that. Mm -hmm. Man, don't go down for it. You know I, what I mean? and, just be, and still stand taller and be like, I would be if I was going. I'd be like, boy, y'all see y'all, boy, y'all just let that boy sit down, out, boy, y'all, but y'all, y'all, <laughs> that boy made money and everything when he got out. You know what I'm saying, boy, y'all better. I feel like black folks should support him. You know what I'm you know, saying? I, should support him. If you was his fan before, you should be his fan after. I think he, he's still the same person. You're just finding out, like the extra shit. I really, I really just think Six Nine expects too much from the black community. Like, bro, we we barely fuck with our own. You just you like what you want us. You ain't put out no jam. We fickle no, anyway. No, 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 listen, listen. Black people fuck with anybody except for black people. Yeah. So that's. I mean, he probably got it right. <laughs> he probably got it right, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a difference between a black snitch and a Mexican snitch and a white snitch is a difference. I just told you we hold all our people accountable for everything they do. They can they can slip and fall by mistake, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna laugh. We're gonna make it their whole life, <laughs> bro. Remember we you got down? You be like, Girl, I did that shit. shit happened eight years ago, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, like. But because but because you elevated, they want to remind you where you was at. Right. You be like, bro, nobody, no other race is doing that to me. Everybody's just like, <laughs> they let me they like really they... paying me because I failed, bro. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're the only one trying to make me feel like I'm like yeah. just like just like PP game, like just like in my world, right? I had somebody tell me that, oh, you 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 messy, you bitchy, you on TV arguing with women and shit like that. I'm like. There's nothing you can tell me about that shit. <laughs> There's nothing you can tell me about uh, getting a check. I don't give a fuck. I'll be whatever you say I am. You feel what I'm saying? I could be trash. You say I'm trash? I'm going to be trash. Guess what I done did for them last, them, all them years I've been on there? I've been taking care of my, my daughter. I've been taking care of my mama. I've been taking care of my daughter mama. I've been taking care of the, the ex-wife. I've been taking care of everybody. Everybody been, everybody good. I ain't got to even give nobody nothing. I can just sit back and just look at people and be like, oh, they have gone on with their life. People that not even, I'm not even connected to no more. I didn't help them. I didn't help them be able to have a job, had to be on movies, be able to be on shit. Like you just, cause you were part of my life. You came on that show with me. Guess what? You do. And they can say whatever they want about that show. Would you they ever can say, hold on, look, they yeah. can say whatever they want. This is just me putting it out there. Yeah. They can say whatever they want about that show. But that show them created great black women. That shit then blew black women to a whole, whole other different scenario. To where black women, because that's the only reason we're in this scenario right now where black women are looking at black men like, oh, no, we straight. That's because of that show. Because you can go look at it, and I don't give a fuck what show you look at, that's still the number one show. I don't oh, give a fuck what you look at. Straight up. Any network. Right. They still trying to catch up to that show. Right. Who's a part of it? Scrub. No, no, no. I ain't even talking oh, about me. Oh, you're talking about all the black Who's women. Who's a part of it? A lot of them. Jocelyn. Black people. Black people. Yep. The same people that created shit long time ago and they've been chipping off trying to just keep that shit going. Everything that's been created, I'm going to say everything, 
But a lot of shit that done been created that we're driving has been us. Straight up. We don't even know it. Because years go by and centuries go by and nobody reminds the other black motherfucker that we did the shit. Straight up. So a motherfucker can come in and be like, I'm going to recreate that shit and say I did it. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's why I say I don't care what they say about the show because a lot of motherfuckers be like, oh, y'all on there acting like... I'm like, nigga, you act like that every day in your house, nigga. You act like that every day in your house, in your car, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you the mirror, nigga. I'm just giving you the I'm real. I'm giving you the fucking mirror. You know Straight what I'm up. saying? I'm, I'm letting you know, nigga, guess what? And guess what? By the time that bitch in, me and the bitch kissing. Yeah. Me and the bitch, we good. Yeah. Me and the bitch got kids. Um, uh, something going on. Screw, screw the French, my French. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Me and the woman that I'm with, like, it is 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 something different because we're trying to tell a story, nigga. We're trying to show you that this was really happening in our life, nigga. So you ain't gotta look at your life as a fucking trash can, nigga. Mm. Nigga, I'm on TV doing this shit. I'm making money doing this shit. So you living that shit is okay, nigga. That shit okay. The whole world seeing me go through this shit. A whole world might see a motherfucker, a, a woman go be with a whole nother nigga and look at me like I ain't shit, like I ain't got nothing. Right. Like I was nothing the whole time she was with me. But you know that's not true because you watched it. You know what I'm saying? You was able to see it. You know what I'm saying? Or you seen this man disrespect this woman the whole time she was on there, the whole time he was on there, and all of a sudden, boom, she's able to go beyond this man because she stood the test of time. She did everything she's supposed to do in the right way. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, the man did everything he's supposed to do in the right way, and that's why he's standing up there. It's all work, my nigga. All work. Facts. And you know, a nigga like Finesse two times, you know, he said, what you think this is, love and hip-hop? Yeah. And I have to ask you then. Yeah. You see a situation like a love and hip-hop situation play out in real life, and I just need your thoughts on it. Uh, where Tory Lanez, yeah. he gets found guilty for the Megan shooting. Um, What were your thoughts as far as that case, the trial, it was it. It wasn't televised, but damn near you could. That was the first. That, that was the first time that we had to have a black on black OJ trial. Oh my god, you that's what exactly that? what it felt like. It, it was a black on black OJ trial because you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't be like, oh, she white, oh, he black, oh. Yeah. We had to be like, this is us. Yeah, yeah, this us. Yeah, this. I see, I see me and both of them. Yeah, I see me and both of them. You know what I'm saying? I see my mom. I see my sister. I see my wife. I see my daughter. I see my girl. I see my home girl. I see me. You know, I see my daddy. I see. You know what I'm saying? You see everybody. You see you. Just you in that motherfucker, and we sitting there like this. Yeah. Like, hey man, we 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 put. You know how we do? We putting out our. We, hey man, I don't know, cuz, cuz, yeah. my goddamn did it. Nah, fuck that shit, cuz didn't do that shit, bro. They, and, and it's like, I feel like we should take accountability of our shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Black men, man, black women. Listen, I don't know what kind of war we in right now, bro. The way we going at each other, bro. But it's like, that shit is sickening, my nigga. That shit is like, that shit is like worse than the Ku Klux Klan, my nigga, to me. That shit is worse than a white person hanging a black person. That black women is standing up for black women and black men is standing up for black men. And I'm like, hey man, hold on, what are we doing? Like, did we forget like what's going on right now? Like, I mean, right. I mean, you're black, right? Like, I mean, I know I'm black. I don't know, you know what I'm saying, how you look at yourself, you feel me? But if we both look in the mirror, I can guarantee you we're black. You know what I'm saying? And the reason we're fighting each other right now is like a disgrace to the whole shit. Because a black woman is sitting there like, I see what we've been through. Yeah, but guess what? We all been through it. It's a nigga putting you through some shit right now. Guess what? A nigga done put me through it too. A nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And the cracker. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not going to excuse myself for saying what I said. Like, a cracker and a nigga done put a nigga through hella shit. You feel what I'm saying? So we got to just look at see whose side we're going to be on. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to them, they're going to be on their side. When it comes to us, we're going to be on their side. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just, you know, we got to just look at that as that and look at it in reality. That's just the way it is. When it comes to shit like this or anything, we always going to be with them. We will go be with them against a whole nother country. We got army niggas that's uh, with the army. That's how they get their check. They can't, hey man, I this how I get my check, bro. I ain't, hey bro, I know what y'all niggas saying, bro, but shit, bro, look, bro. I'm stupid and fuck already, bro. That's how I get my check. <laughs> yeah. Rap niggas. 
Hey, bro, I ain't finna go fight for no goddamn cracker, bud. In the country, bud. What the fuck you talking about, bud? And you like, bro, you live here, my nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you <be> like, <laughs> you be like, they country, nigga. Your mama don't live here, nigga. Like, you got, I mean, you got future motherfuckers that you ain't even gonna be here for this part of you, nigga. They ain't gonna be here, nigga. Like, you know what you talking about? But nobody wants to get that part. Like, it's like, this shit just so selfish, nigga. Like, this whole shit selfish, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you go, I mean, you can't go back further enough where you can't find it. It's selfish. You know what I'm saying? That niggas is just selfish. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never address black people as N-I-G-G-E-R-S. I is N-I-G-G-A-S, but for real. And I didn't even change it to N-I-C-C-A-S. You know what I'm saying? For real. You know, never ignorant, cashing checks always, but we still fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They, Cause we we good now. I mean, we they even they gave us shit that we really can come up off of for real and be above them. But niggas ain't finna do that shit. Man, do you think that somebody should have spoke up? I mean, she was literally saying, "Hey, he shot me." Nobody, you know, niggas kind of took their sides. But when you really look at it, that's no, no, because it came from the everyday shit. Yeah, it come from the everyday of a woman saying a nigga did something that he ain't do. So we have to give it the benefit of the doubt. We have to give him the benefit of the doubt because it's a hundred, a billion women out there that done said some false shit, and it came out to be untrue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though we got sisters, mamas, wives, you know, cousins, friends, homegirls, like you know, even when it comes to a black dude saying some shit that he didn't do, we still be like, even when the police do something, sometimes you be like. What that nigga do, cuz? <laughs> you be like, what the nigga do, cuz? Like, I know us. You, you know yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's all. California is talking about giving reparations back to their black uh, people who live in that state um, in the excess of $5 million a person. Mm -hmm. Do you think we really gonna see that and if they were to see? Do you think black people are really gonna see that? And if they were to see that, what do you think that would be? That's paperwork. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of people out here. I mean, shit, OJ still owe Nicole and Ron Goldman 33 something million, nigga. That's paperwork, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna give y'all reparation. They'll probably get like 10 people, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Probably 20. You know what I'm saying? Just to show, just to show us good faith, you know what I'm saying? If they do it, if they move yeah. on it. But if they don't move on it, I say it just, it's some shit that's gonna happen within due time, man. Like, you if, if we fight enough for it, we'll get it. But I, you know, I see less people fighting for reparation, you know, you know, I see way less people fighting for reparation than they own house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is just fighting for themselves, my nigga. Like, ain't nobody trying to like, nah, we're not doing what other races do. Put it like that. We black are not. people don't do what other races. Black people don't take up for black people. Unless it's their homeboy and they probably kill him in the end anyway. No, nah, no, nah, man, that's real. Um, and I have to ask, because, you know, you come, man, Scott, you've been doing this for decades now to where I wonder and I question um, when, and uh, I want you, of course, give your, uh, uh, give your condolences uh, to Gangsta Boo. Does that make you feel, you know, like more morality check? Like you said, I'm, I'm doing stuff for my health now. I want to be here long. Man, I was just with Gangsta Boo. You know what I'm saying? She came to my concert when we was on tour. Um, on, um, it was like the 29th of uh, November. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I was just with her and she, she was hearing me. She was like, bro, I want to come out there with y'all. Like, and um, man, just to see her. And I and I really talked to her like a week before that happened. Like just oh, talking damn. to her. And just to see that happen, man, I'm like, I don't understand niggas. Like, just go back to me, cause it go back to me, cause it's like. <laughs> Cause we don't buy shit from white folk. We don't buy weed and we don't buy drugs from white folk. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't buy it from no other race. We we fuck with who we familiar with. You know what I'm saying? And for us not to be on our shit knowing what we selling. You know what I'm saying? Or if we put shit in it, like what the fuck happened to the money part? Like I, that, that's my own thing. Just yeah. Yeah. sell your shit, get your money. All this fit, you know, putting fitting all and all that kind of crazy. Like it like. Bro, you fucking up the money. Like you ain't yeah. even making no money. Like, what were you you making it hot? Like yeah, you, I, don't, yeah. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Then for a, a person like that, just to be smoking weed, cuz, like these people that smoking weed and dying off that shit, cuz, yeah, like, 
That shit, that shit got me fucked up because I smoke hella weed. Come on. Hella weed and I ain't gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? So it like, you know, you just pray, bro. You just pray that you don't come into that situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, you know, gangsta boo is like, you would look at her, you like, man, she, she, you know, she's too successful for that shit, bro. But you can't keep the dude that's that's unsuccessful, that's trying to get there. From putting fentanyl and shit, you know what I'm saying? Facts, like we ain't we we ain't a real drug, bro. Like I mean, I done been to rehab and everything. I done passed the whole. I done went through the whole thing. Weed to me is not a weird, real drug. It's a mind altering drug. I mean, mind altering uh, chemical type situation. But that shit calm motherfuckers down. All that other shit, cause they be taking making motherfuckers just energize up on the motherfucker. <clears throat> Cut a whole motherfucker head off, eat a motherfucker face and shit like that. Man, like, come on now. And they that shit is in the stores. That My shit God. is in the stores. My God. Stow. So, um, and lastly, I just want to have you, of course, touch on this. Um, and just kind of what we learned from this. I, the last time we had you here, of course, that was going into the end of October, going to November, and um, you know, of course, you know, the takeoff situation, of course, in Houston. And then you know, we talked about Mo three at the time, yeah. and just you as a as a rapper that made it to the age you know that you are now. Is there any advice you could give? You know, just the young rappers coming up because it looks like again we're playing a dangerous game now to where it's almost like the early '90s with the Bloods and Crips, the way people play with their lives now yeah. and just you know kind of throw their lives away sometimes, or at least be in scenarios to where they don't care too much about longevity and seeing you know, 65 and retiring. Yeah, yeah. Any advice you could give young artists um, that's coming up in this game, you know, how you got through what you got through? I ain't gonna even lie. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna say God, cause that shit sounds so cliche, but I've been connected with God since I was like three years old. And I done been through the worst shit ever. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like the faith that I done had is the faith that everybody gotta have. I mean, I'm sure everybody got faith, but it's like you gotta have that strong <laughs> shit, bro. Like you gotta, like you gotta know you're gonna make it out. Even if you just believe in yourself, my nigga, cause that's where it started. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Take whatever talent that you got and make that shit legit. You know what I'm saying? So you can you ain't got to, like, if, if you're looking out for something, you're looking out for the robbing crew or some, somebody trying to take from you. You're not looking out for the cops trying to shut you down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want something left for your kids. Cause, so even if the, if, the, if a cop come kill you or the hood nigga come kill you, nigga, you got something for your kids that's legitimate, that's sitting up somewhere that you can, you know what I'm saying, you can take care of them with and you can... Like, your name will always be remembered for taking care of your kids, you know, taking care of your business, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't enough just to say what you want to do in life, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga really got to change some shit for your environment to change. Like, you got to change the shit for everybody, like, everybody, the world, you know what I'm saying, for you to be able to live, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go and make some accomplishments that, uh, that changed the block, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Change the way they look at people that look like you. You know what I'm saying? Like when you do stuff like that, that means you 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 uh, giving service to people. You know what I'm saying? You you know you putting up that service, and it ain't about you. You know what I'm saying? Whenever it's selfless, that shit go a long way. Even if you don't see it at first, that shit go a long way, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about trapping. If you selfless and trapping, it go a long way. You 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 a killer like all that shit. If you you just I ain't gonna even say like kill people and sell drugs. I'm just saying like like if you believe in God, you believe in Jesus, all that shit, man. Like them folk really <clears throat> fuck with rat the ratcheters of people, my nigga. Like the hooders of people, and the only way them hood people change is they change their mindset of how they want the shit to look around them. You know what I'm saying? Like I want this shit to be like this, so. You got to be the one to change it, cause you the one thought about that shit. I got to do. I, I got to make this shit happen, cause ain't nobody else thinking the way you thinking. You got to make that shit. A, you got to manifest that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Make that shit a reality. Hey man, uh, man, it's so profound, brother. It just you know it astounds us every time. Uh, 
You got any shout outs? I ain't got no shout outs, man. Uh, well, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, shout the uh, the big, the big homie, man. Uh, Larry Hoover. Uh, shout the big crusher. Shout the Max Steve, Matt Chris. You know what I'm saying? All my people, all my kids, man. Like, love my babies, love my parents. You know what I'm saying? Love all my guys, man. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, like, when it comes to shout outs and shit, I don't really be doing that shit, man. Like, uh, people know who they is in my life and shit. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of us, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? We trying to come up one day. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I mean, I don't know if people just be sitting there. And not honestly like witnessing what's in your eyes, but if you look at what I'm looking at, you will see that we coming up and we falling at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like it like people like you, we get to see black people thrive, but at the same time, like we see black people die like way more than they ever died before. And it's like, we doing it, you know what I'm saying? So. I just spread the people like, man, fuck with your people, man. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your people, like your cousin folk, you know what I'm saying? Your skin folk, you know what I'm saying? Take care of them folk. And then them other folk, man, you know what I'm saying? Just pray for them. Now it's love because a week after you came through, we had Mark Cuban come sit down right after you. And I'm like, wow, look uh, at progression. Yeah. Little scrappy to Mark Cuban. Yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking around. <laughs> for real. Hey, man, we just want to thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule to come sit down with us, man. Appreciate hey. y'all having me. It's, it's, it's a service for me. Hey, man. Love, love. Service for me. Hey, and it's the best part. Little Scrappy. Big Scrappy. You know, little. Not the little one. Not the little one. <laughs> you are a real life street star. Street stars, nigga. Moon. Hey.